Hey guys, welcome back to Action Not Included. Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we've been on the LZ Alpha for about 1,390 cycles now. For the past few episodes, we've been going around fixing up a few things that need to be happening in the base, but I think it is time. I think it is finally time for us to come into the research screen and click that. Uh, this is Introduction to Rocketry. We get to have our nice little command cop capsule, uh, like a research and some steam engines, and oh, it's going to be so good. But... If you've been following along, you know that we might have a little bit of trouble with this. If we zoom in on our research station here and go, hey, what's going on with the dirt? You've got some dirt there, but hey, do we have enough? Oh, you know what? There actually is enough going on at the moment. But very shortly, very shortly, we're going to reach a point where there are no pending deliveries because the only dirt that we are collecting, if I bring us all the way down south here, is it south? It's, it's definitely down. I don't know about south. Is this dirt that we are making from petroleum being burnt, uh, turned into p uh, polluted water? The polluted water falls down. Down, evaporates and the dirt gets picked up put onto this conveyor loader here but look look at the like uh, 10 grams a uh, 370 that like we were having milligrams before you know it, it's not a small amount of dirt in fact it's a small amount of dirt it's too small amount of dirt and uh, it's being used for all sorts of things from like feeding the hatches uh, to being put in uh, farm plots and stuff like that. So I feel like we need to break our dependency on dirt. And one of the ways we can do that is start building a dependency on clay instead. Uh, no, not the, the co not the company that made the game, but actually the clay, the item that comes out of deodorizers. Now we can feed these de deodorizers with um, either sand or I believe we can use regolith as well. And the regolith is what I want to try and use. I don't know whether we're going to be able to or whether it's just going to eat the sand. I don't know. But I'm going to use this hot polluted oxygen vent here now the big problem is of course it's hot okay 500 degrees but we know how to deal with 500 degrees we got we've got a little cooling loop over here uh, and i'm going to grab myself some radiant uh, radiant gas no it is liquid pipe sorry ah oh, man i am on the ball today and we're gonna go up down across and just do a big old loop around like this Let's try building a thing like this, shall we? This should be able to uh, enable us to cool down all of this gas. If we then go and get a tile, to grab a tile across here, we probably want to make that insulated. But more importantly, we can then get that deodorizers and just start putting a whole bunch of them down like this. I might even get some mesh tile on the go or act airflow. But then we'll go with mesh tile just because, you know, I, I can do that. Um, oh, people aren't going to be able to get through here like this but if i do every other they should be able to climb up and over stuff right no no that's that's also not going to work mm, we need to think about this a little more carefully so the only way this really works is if we cancel this and bring it ooh, no, wrong button uh, and then bring this down one like that i, th I think that's the only way that's going to work should we should we try that let's give it a go see what happens what is the worst that could actually happen eh and hopefully this will just produce a metric ton of clay a day or something. I don't know how much, but it's going to be a lot. I mean, it says it's a filtration medium, but looking at the deodorizer, it doesn't say it wants anything other than sand. Hmm. I wonder if we can cook regolith into sand or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. We'll use the sand for now because I don't know where it where we get it from to be fair uh and then we'll uh we'll, we'll see if we can upgrade later on we'll play with it we'll see what goes on you know we'll do my standard sloppy messy play <laughs> forest always seems to think that making power is more important than the research let's have a look at his priorities and find out why shall we here's forest okay so research let's just clack down the operating one little tick there and uh get him back on the research station it's been some time. I can understand why he's a little bit rusty. What? Wise? Okay, fine. Yeah, why not? Why not? We're down yonder. Things are proceeding at a fair pace. We've got a little bit of water that's a little bit difficult to mop up in here. I don't know where this lot came from, but, you know, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll get it going. Uh, I'm also a little bit worried about what to do about this. Maybe we'll turn this into a mesh tile. Uh, another thing that we've got going on is some chlorine. I think the way that I'm going to get rid of that, oh, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, is just to put a, 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 an airflow tile there. There's a lot of carbon dioxide and polluted oxygen but hopefully the chlorine will displace the polluted oxygen back upwards and if all else fails we'll put some sort of scrubbing unit oh look at all this cold here but we'll put all this scrubbing unit uh, we'll put in a scrubbing unit to get rid of the carbon dioxide yeah, we're going to have a return of the vertical door here just to stop people uh, going in and out constantly. More just to stop all the gases going in and out constantly. And I didn't know what would happen if I put a door under either of these. So rather than risk it, vertical door. Great. 
Okay, this polluted ice under here is becoming a bit of a problem, so I've asked for these to get dug out, just so we can drop it all to the floor. Just, just get out of here. Oh, look, there goes our first bit of clay. Yeah, go, Decipher, go. All right, wonderful. Love it. Love it. Obviously, eventually, we'll put, like, some auto sweepers in here and stuff. In fact, what is stopping us do that, doing that now? I don't know where it's going. I think that's the big thing. I don't know where the clay's going to end up. Okay, that looks like a perfect place to put it. If we uh, turn that one around and then maybe get the, uh, the the other one over this side. Hopefully, this won't melt. Are we doing... No, we're doing... Let's, no, let's, let's not do that. This middle one here is going to be a problem. Perhaps we rip that one down and just, just leave it. Okay, in preparation to let this guy go, I'm going to put another airlock here and ask for this one to get destructed uh, so that we can then put the insulated tiles all the way down. We'll come in here, we'll rip all of this out, uh, and then we'll let it, let it run and see if things go horrifically wrong. Okay, I'm going to let all of this carbon dioxide out from underneath, and hopefully that's going to create some sort of pool going downwards here. Uh, that's going to drop all the way down here. That's kind of okay. I've got a little pump over here. It's a not oxygen pump, uh, trying to see if it can clear the area. How is it doing? It's doing all right, actually. It's doing all right. We should probably have this door open to enable all of this carbon dioxide to drop out as well. It's going to take a while, though. It's going to take a while, oh, especially at this sort of concentration. Concentrations. Ah, th th there's got to be a better way of doing this, right? All else fails at an AND gate, right? So we're going to take an AND gate. We're going to turn it this way around. Uh, and we're going to have an, uh, a pressure sensor. Where, where would one of those be? Atmosphere sensor. Here we go. We'll pop that down. Can we pop it there? Oh, it looks like I can. Oh, that would be great if we can. Uh, and then grab a, a little bit of wire. We're going to go this one and this one. If they both go, then turn on. So as, as long as we're not detecting oxygen and the pressure is high enough, we'll turn the pump on. I don't know what the high enough pressure would be. According to this hydrogen, it'll be a kilogram. We're definitely going to have to have a pump down here extracting all the oxygen that goes through. But really, what do I do with all this oxygen? Um, as it is, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with a lot of my oxygen. So if we come up to the Rodriguez, you might remember that we, are, we were building this from last time. But every now and then, the oxygen will back up. They'll back up enough that actually, as you can see what he's demonstrating here, the charge from the batteries will run down too low for the amount of hydrogen that we we are having a produced here so i feel like we need some sort of pressure release valve and i will show you quickly how i'm going to make one though i don't think this is the one that i'm going to stick with uh, i'm going to drag an upwards pipe coming from all three of these so first off it will enable like these gases to be passed part uh, passed through but also coming all the way up i'm going to put a vent at the top here so that when we do get over pressured it's got a way out but thankfully because the bridges have a bit more of a higher priority they get picked up on the way past uh then uh, the the vent will only be used if we're over pressured I am noticing that the bottom one doesn't want to go. So let's try something different there. If we do this, uh, this seems to be feeding up and in. I'm not sure if that's like purposefully so or whether it's just because of what's coming out of here. Yeah, we don't seem to have any cross, cross passing here. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take that out and then I'll make a different one for each line and then if it's full it can just continue venting up and into space maybe not here maybe we'll do it closer but definitely using that technology okay this looks like a good spot to do it we've got a nice open area here and space is relatively close also when i get around to it i'm going to be making another hydrogen hood up here because this guy these guys down here are doing an amazing job at just condensing the, this water but the uh, cool steam vent likes to get over pressure up here there's there's not much space so if we can start condensing the water that touches the top this will make a vacuum pulling all the water uh, pulling all the steam up, hopefully making it so this guy doesn't overpressure. I'm also going to try and move the tiles up by one, but I, I can see problems happening from there. Ha! Just figured out what this middle bit's going to be for. The conveyor loader that these two can both reach. And Oh, look, they can reach down below. Uh, and then hopefully this will add... Uh, this this will, this will give access to both of these guys to offload it. Oh, that be, oh yeah, that's going to be great. Going to be great. I'm sure there's nothing I've overlooked. I mean, power, of course. Always always overlook power. Okay, just setting up this uh, conveyor loader here quickly. I suppose all we need is the, is, the clay, is the clay being picked up. I'm wondering whether we could actually move um, some sand into here as well. Oh, look, we got, we got sand down there. That's a, that's a little inconvenient, but people will move that. But I think with everything running up and ready now, we're going to do this of course there is one little thing i overlooked we haven't put these two bits of wire together the reason they were like that is i had a little bit of a conductive wire going through and i didn't 
I didn't really, I didn't really want to connect it up to the main grid and watch it fry. Okay, this has no gas output. That I, I know this. I didn't know where I was going to send it. I think I'm just going to send it into the wasteline, to be honest. But here we go. Not only are we going to let the uh, polluted oxygen loose, we're also going to ask Forrest to come and have a go. Talk, talking about Forrest coming along and analysing this, where is the research going? Okay, we're doing all right, actually. We've done all of the advanced research that takes the water and such, and we're just waiting on the, on the dirt now. In fact, here is Forrest because he cannot, cannot complete the, uh, the the research right now. Okay, so this seems to be working fine. You know, I've, I've forgotten to do something else, but at the moment it's not too big of a problem. Uh, the auto sweep is starting to get hot, but if I press F6, yeah, th this over here. Uh, I'm just going to put a little snip in there, and then we're going to move this down and this one up, and that should connect everything together. I don't, I don't want to change the materials, though. Okay, this is going to mean that it's going to go through another system. Uh, we're at minus 20 right now, so I feel like we can actually handle it. At minus 20 is the system we wanted to come in at. Oh, look at the temperature spike up already. By the time it gets to the end, what are we going to be at? There's 30, 40. I'm a little bit worried that it's going to get too hot. Okay, so 30. That is much hotter than I was hoping for. But as you can see, it's already coming down to like zero and then minus numbers. All right, I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be fine. Not sure about this triple up down business going on over here, though. Okay, the next thing I want to do is to move the clay over here because uh, th th this, is, this is where we could feed it. Uh, I'm not sure about this dirt. Like we, we were moving the dirt up here to feed these guys, to come into here and go to the hatch, but I should be able to just go, no. Uh, and then this one as well, no. <laughs> So I'm just going to go through and turn all of these dirt feeders off. Oh, it turns out that I'm not allowed to feed the sage hatches um, clay, but that's okay because we're like, I don't think we actually have any right now. Shovels? No, 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 no. Who's trying to feed the shovels, hey? Okay, that should help that, and then we're going to move this iron ore rail off over this way. At some point, I'll learn all the rules to these... Uh, to these conveyor rails, but right now we're just going to place them down randomly and see what happens. Well, for now, I think the only thing we can actually do with the gases is to send them up that way. Uh, obviously, some sort of pressure automation wouldn't go amiss here. I think that's literally all we want to hook it up to is pressure. If it's if it's too high pressure, mm, let's move this across one. If it's too high pressure, just 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 pump, just pump, pump, pump. Oh, I thought I'd been hit by the curse again. Uh, it's only idle. It's not gone dormant. Oof. <laughs> Want to have a quick look at the colony summary? I want to have a quick look at the colony summary. Average power produced. Look at this daily up, down, up, down, up, down. That's my solar panels right there. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Power wasted is looking pretty serious. Pretty serious. We should probably like try and upgrade that and or duplicates as well. It was something that I was looking at. Look at the travel time. Oh, brilliant. Okay, there goes all our collected clay. It's going along this nice little line here, hopefully to end up just over this way in this uh, conveyor receptacle. I'm a little bit worried that maybe it's going to overshoot and go the wrong way, but I, I, I don't know. There's no reason for it to do that. I'm kind of waiting for the next guy to pop. You can see he's got a bunch of sand. There is some clay in there. It's all very, very cold, but that's good. That's exactly what we want is that very, very cold. Oh, there they go. Picking up clay, delivering clay, watching the... Oh, no, press the right button. And watching the clay go along the conveyor. Cool. How about this little set of packets over here? Yeah, they're just going inside. All right, cool. This is now full. Okay, that might might be a bit more of an issue. And sad, that said, this will empty out almost instantly and uh, get put into there. Like 60 kilos. Look at that. 80 kilos was the entire contents of that. Interesting. Okay, last thing to check before we can declare this project a success. We're going to follow the oxygen line up and around. Seems to be coming down here. Or oh, oxygen is just being pumped out. Okay. All right. Yeah, fine. Why not? Yeah, that, 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 that's cool. I might want to pump it up this way instead, though. Let's get this base oxygenated, shall we? Let's get this base... Well, I mean, it already is pretty highly oxygenated. And with that in mind, should we choose a blueprint here? I think we shall choose a blueprint. Doctor and Ranching, what a great idea. Okay, I had to go get the spelling for this. Uh, Gorgonopsid, one of uh, a long-time viewer. All right, cool. Yeah, uh, I mean, he's germ-resistant. He does flatulent, but that, that's fine. I want the Doctor and Ranching, more importantly. And we can, we can deal with natural gas. Hey, well, Gorgonopsid, welcome. You get to live with wise. Yeah, there you go. Great. You got you guys have a great time now. Maybe at some point we should set these guys up with their own little uh, own little atmosphere dock. So it's not like we can't just rip this lot down and put it up here instead. That might be a plan at some point. That might be a plan at some point. Also going to give them a nice, nice carpet. Let, let, let's, let's not make them suffer, shall we? Okay, another thing we're going to have to do, because Gorgonopsid is a rancher, we're going to have to come down here and be like, no, you don't you don't go into the hot stuff. You you don't have the atmosphere, do uh, atmosphere suit yet. 
just uh, you know, look after the look after the hatches up here. That's that's your job. Look after these guys. <laughs> Okay, I said something crazy about overflow valves. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that, shall we? I'm going to run this one up here, and I then want to have... Let's get the ventilation pipes out. I want to have a gas pipe going over like this. I will then split this one here. In fact, let's let's get these built. All the mentions of this and that. Ah, it's not going to work, is it? Hey, these guys, they've, they've started clearing this area out. Okay, we're going to do two things at once over here. We're going to be building this hydrogen hood, and we're also going to be building an overflow valve. At some point, we're going to run out of phosphor, phosphorite, whatever it is, and we're going gonna have to uh, do something about that. I believe we got fertilizer makers. That is something that can uh, aid us in our endeavors, but I'm not sure. Uh, I've never played with them. Basically, I have never played with them, so I have no idea. Is this? Oh, that's mathic rock. I thought that was dirt for a moment then. I was like, no. Lol, this storm. This, this steam vent's dormant. Uh, <laughs> always. Always. How did Miss dig this tile out? S -s Somehow she managed to dig that one out. Threw another one, I think. I don't know. That was weird. <laughs> oh, what's Frank going to do when he builds himself in? There's a block above his head. There's a block to the side. Oh, it goes down. Uh, I mean, uh, it's not quite as interesting as I was hoping for. Oh, we got vacuum. Oh, we've got vacuum. Let's put some drywall in place. <laughs> Maybe not obsidian drywall. Wow, 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 wow. What's what's easy to get to? Mathic drywall? That sounds like a winner. So dirt is getting dropped off at the science machine, but oh, it's taking its time. Is that all the supplies? We've got people coming in with more, but wow. But wow, let's have a look at here. 154, we're only at seven. I mean, what what happened to it all then? I'm sure we got up to higher. Ooh, 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 and it disappeared again. Wait, it disappeared again? What's going on here? There's a couple of times I've just watched that disappear. I think I'm gonna have to, hmm. Resell or something? What? What? It, did it just eat all my dirt? Did it actually just eat all my dirt? Okay, let's watch this. Dr. Captain Stubbs puts micrograms in. Uh, it's only supposed to take 50 kilograms. Only supposed to take 50 kilograms. Look at that. Hundreds of grams. Hundreds of grams. And all gone. All gone. Why? Okay, all right. Let's 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 rip this one up. Obviously, something's going very badly wrong here. Yeah, we've got access to everything it needs. 50 kilograms of uh, dirt and some power. I mean, I suppose the power could do with a little bit more, but that wouldn't wipe it out, would it? Why, why would that wipe it out? Let's, uh, let's get it deconstructed. Okay, I'm going to build a new one out of iron, and we're going to put it closer. Yes. <laughs> Okay, let, let's see if this does any better. Hmm, kind of hurts that it stole so much of my dirt. I mean, it's still micrograms, but at least it's there now. Does it stay? Find out. Ah, oh, they just did it again, didn't they? For some reason, forest came up when there wasn't enough dirt in there. And then, oh, that's... I don't know what to do about this. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna reset my game. That's what I'm gonna do. No, wise. Okay, all right. So I'm noticing that like right in the early morning, uh, cycle 1400 also noticed what uh, episode number we're on. Nice. Anyway, there's not enough dirt in the box, and wise is coming along. Hmm. How do we just be like, hey, wise? No. Let's let's just move him. Let's just move him. Uh, I don't. Ah, this, this is gonna take a lot of micromanaging if we're gonna do that every time. See, now Forrest is like, oh, I can research. I might just have to turn them down until there's enough dirt in there. All right, let's try that. that that's a different way of trying it. Uh, why shouldn't be doing... Well, why shouldn't be doing anything, but... Uh... Okay, I'm going to put Wise on to... Is tidying a thing? There we go, tidying. Maybe storing as well. Get him off that research tip. Get him off that research tip. So I'm watching the research queue, but also watching the research supply queue. When this dries up, it means these guys should be able to research again. I'll go over and have a look, right? Man, we're not even at a single kilogram yet. This this is going to take a while. I'm going to assume conveyor bridges work the same as all the other bridges. And by doing this, I am putting a priority on this line. We're going to just pull the dirt out like this. I think I think that's probably the better way of doing it. As we have got a lot of up and down travel of our duplicates right now for very small amounts of dirt. <laughs> No, so oh no, some has disappeared at some point. When? When? No, we haven't even got up a novice point. Ah, oh. researching, research. All right, everyone's on low. Let's just really crank those down. Look, Shroudicus is on number two, number three. He's just, he's there waiting. The moment he runs out of cook orders, he's gonna come across and do it. What else can we? Give Shroudicus to do. I thought he was coming over then. Uh, what else can we give Shroudicus to do? Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, look, everything's turned down for him, which is cool. 
It's because we want him to be cooking. Hmm. All right, disallowed. Yeah, get him off that list. Okay, so now the dirt is jumping past this conveyor receptacle and going on its way up. Of course, when this fills up and it all backs up, then uh, we will have uh, the the overflow going into the critter feeders here. Uh, but I think like this, we can let, let maybe 50 kilos build up here and then try turning the research station on. We'll tick the allow manual use and see what happens. Okay, now for the next important thing. Can I remove this tile uh, from underneath the metal tile? That would be very useful if I can. Yes, I can. All right, let's build another one next to it. We're going to work our way across there, make a little bit more room for the uh, the gases to come flying out. But of course, we do have a bit of a polluted uh, oxygen and hydrogen issue. I'm not sure how we're going to fix that, but uh, maybe we'll have a little open door here where we can vent stuff into space or maybe have a pump taking out. I kind of like that idea of venting into space. If we put down a door like right here, yeah, this will be the way in and out. Yeah, yeah, I like that actually. Bit of a disappointing lack of access to vacuum up through this way. Given how low the vacuum was coming down, down here, I was really hoping, really hoping that we'd have some good access up there. But anyway, we're letting what hap what can happen happen. Also opened up the, the side of the, the vent room. Yeah, we're going to call it the vent room. Open up the side of the vent room to allow all the polluted oxygen, just the assorted nasty gases in here to get its way up to the non-existent vacuum. Let's open this up as well. Oh, I caught a big red alert overnight because in my haste to get into vacuum, I realized that I have broken through the abyssalite. This means that there are shove holes up here and I was watching one over night who could break their way into here let's turn those off everybody's going to make a horrific mess that's fine it's all actually going to be inside their suits and what we really need to do is deal with it down there of course down there being at the uh, the horrific hotel yeah oh oh look at it all oh let's just put a mop order down and see what happens gotta wonder who's gonna end up with food poisoning well, it took long enough, but finally the overflow valve is sorted, which means we are producing enough hydrogen to keep these batteries topped up and even enough to start powering some out to the grid. It's not a great deal, though, and unfortunately this means I've got a little bit of a problem down below. Not here, but over here. Oh, thankfully it sorted itself out. This guy was running out of power, which meant that he wasn't getting enough enough pressure up what's going on here why is this wide open let's put this down to 50 and see what happens can we can we do something about this is there anything we can do about this i don't know why that's not flowing okay I've turned this thermo sensor up to 403 look it's already gone up too far uh because the, we were having a blob of crude oil sat there and it wasn't wasn't making its phase transition um so i added three extra degrees and it it's done. Maybe we can bring it down by one. Okay, look, yeah, perfect. We're getting much better flow now. Okay, I've set this back to 100. Will it be enough? Is that a winner? There's 100. All right, cool. All right, we're back on target. Oh, no, what happened, though? Ah, uh, so with the lack of power, the doors haven't been able to open and close properly. I'm sure it'll be fine, though. I'm sure it'll all be fine. We get a nice flow going up and out of this area. The uh, the polluted oxygen and the hydrogen both making their way up there as the pressure drops. But I've realised that we're going to have to do a sneaky to try and get this place sealed up properly. I've put another airlock across the other way because uh, there's a bug in the game where duplicates, uh, even though you can turn the, uh, the default entrances off on both directions, they can still climb up and underneath. So I need to be able to put one sideways to... Uh, to trap someone in here because of course at some oh, of course you're coming to fix this uh, of course at some point we're going to lose all the gas out of here but the first duplicate to come through is going to allow, allow a whole bunch more uh, bunch more oxygen through that's that's the gas that's up here oxygen when that happens we've got to get them to hang around in here until all that oxygen disappears again thankfully the one wide tile here restricts the amount that can go through but we're still going to mean we're going to have to uh, going to have to trap one of our duplicates in here to rebuild the wall to let all the gas dissipate and rebuild the wall. Okay, 401, not a winner. <laughs> 402, we'll flash it out. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Pretty cool that almost all the polluted oxygen has disappeared. We're really just dealing with the trace carbon dioxide in the bottom now. And also a little bit of hydrogen up there that's just been too stubborn to get its way out. Uh, what I really want to see is start seeing some vacuum pulling its way down into this area. But I think that's actually going to happen all as one great big wave. I'm getting a little bit worried that 25 cycles of downtime isn't going to be enough. I have respect for this little blob of oxygen and these two little blobs of polluted oxygen. It's just been hanging tough. Hanging tough. Oh, was he about to make him escape? Is he off? No, no, no. He sent a little bit of himself off. Go, go, go. You are free. Still the polluted oxygen down here, though. 
Whilst waiting for the gases to disappear, let's try and open this up to allow the... Uh, the, the word that I'm looking for is the research to happen. All right, we now need to stop you because I think you're, think you're done with... No, you're not quite. What happens here? Did you get enough? Not quite. Not quite. Oh, I really thought we had enough there. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens next time. <laughs> okay, I've a turn to allow manual use back on for this, guys. We've got 10 kilos in there and we're missing three, two, two. It was three. They've delivered more dirt. Where, where are they even finding this dirt from? I don't really mind that much as long as it means that we are getting some research done eventually. Oh, man. Like, we got to do this 70, seven, zero times. And if this is how long it takes for each one, I, I'm just not sure, guys. I'm just not sure. Okay, here comes forest yeah finally oh great we got a little bit what was that is we ah i mean i ate them all okay <laughs> i've i've got a feeling so my my current hypothesis we saw that go over just a tiny 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 amount right i reckon they were storing up the amount of research that we have done so if we drop i don't know two kilos in there and allow that to get done do you reckon then it will suddenly tick up i i kind of think it will do i kind of think it will do Either way, it seems totally broken. Oh, it's starting to spread. Oh, it's starting to spread. There goes the vacuum. Oh, it's one of my favorite things about this game is watching the vacuum spread. Uh, I, I think it's going to go this way as well. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to fight its way down into this little area there. I sure do hope so, though. Uh, I'm going to meet you guys tomorrow. Well, actually, we're going we're gonna to watch this together. But I'm going to meet you guys tomorrow morning when we're going to bring Mad Frank on up, on, on up into this little vacuum chamber that I've got here. Because I've got... I feel... I feel, given how long it took to get rid of just the smallest amount of gases here, we might not want to be letting any of this oxygen through. Okay, it's almost exactly a cycle later, and actually what's been happening is we've been watching the, uh, the, the vacuum try and force its way down this little pipe here, but it's taking its time. We are slowly dropping down 18 micrograms down here. There's only so many to go around, and it looks like maybe it's starting to face its, uh, force its way around the corner. I'm expecting that when it gets around the corner, the uh, the wider face here will mean that more gets... Uh, ooh, 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 like Kind of like this. More gets... Uh, we get more surface area. That's the word I'm looking for. But more surface area for it to disappear into... I mean, the hydrogen is just, well, it was fighting a little battle there. And here comes the carbon dioxide, but also the autosave. Yay. Okay, autosave over. Let's just watch these last bits. One microgram, three micrograms, five micrograms. Is it, is it going to take a while? So I think what happens is it tries to spread and then split. And because it can't split one into two, uh, one into like two halves, uh, it, it, it destroys, the, uh, destroys the bit of tile there. Okay, cool. Next, Matt Frank. Uh, maybe we'll let him sleep a bit first. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We'll, we'll take Miss instead. Hey, Miss Align, could you move up into this bit, please? No, you don't. Oh, of course, because we've set the door for Mad Frank. So as I was saying, could you move up here, please? Thank you. All right, now we need to wait for her to appear. I'm also going to go ahead and do this. Yeah. Hopefully there's enough igneous and mathic rock down below to deal with stuff. If we do that, is she going to pick these up by preference? That would be great. Wait, wait, wait. We want you to stay there just a little bit more. Let's uh, let's turn this door off for the moment. Just need to get rid of this hydrogen, you know? Much quicker. All right, awesome. Go, go, go. No, no, now Matt Frank wants to come and take part. What? Well, well, I mean, he's nearly here. Ah, oh, mate, no, no, no. Let's let's turn that off and see, see what Miss does. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. I was worried about the gas exchange. I mean, once again, I have managed to work my way around needing a, uh, a liquid lock. Yeah, there we go, Miss. Thanks. If you could not lock yourself in there, I would be very, very grateful. No pending deliveries. All right, we can fix that. We can fix that. We'll build it out of Mafic Rock instead. Oh, put that in the wrong place. Build it out of Mafic Rock instead. Okay, there we go. Sealed it all in. Open the door up properly. Now people can go wherever they want. Nice. As long as, we, as long as we open that door up again as well. And the curse continues. Just when I want to be able to build a whole bunch of planter blocks, it boxes out of clay. Wouldn't you know the hot polluted vent that we were uh, making clay from has gone dormant for another 50 cycles. Yay! <laughs> 
So what I've been trying to do to pull myself through this is occasionally dropping the pressure on this atmospheric sensor to be able to lower the pressure of the oxygen and hopefully pull up some of this polluted oxygen into the system here. I've put some airflow tiles in and it's been going through and not making an insignificant amount of clay because if we come up, we have got our first planter box ready. Beautiful, beautiful. We're going to plant that. It's going to be a little bit of like snowstorms in a wildfire, but that's okay. We're going to be fine. Uh, we've got like 12 cycles to try and get more liquids in there but not that we don't have an excess of liquids right now if we come down and have a look down at the base uh, we are under here the water geyser has come back back to life and indeed both pumps are pretty much ready to go we've had to clear off the liquids from the top here to uh, to deal with this polluted oxygen and of course because we've been uh, pressurizing this area this is all like 10 kilos of polluted oxygen and stuff like that so we're going through putting down some deodorizers and using those to make more clay for even more planter boxes but with that i'm going to say thank you much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time where we're going to deal with the dirt situation it's what we need to do i think ethanol or well, arbitraries ethanol and polluted dirt are the route we're going to take but i'll see you guys when we're going to do that bye